suppose if I take a parallel plate capacitor let's take Q <coughs> what about the net charge on the capacitor it is all the time zero because plus Q and this is minus Q but is as they are apart from each other it creates an electric field that is the main principle behind this capacitors now the target for us to increase the capacitance without increasing the area nor changing the distance between the two how do we do that if you observe the formula c is equal to epsilon naught a by d in addition to area and the distance between parallel plates of the parallel plate capacitor one more term also the capacitor depends that is nothing but this permittivity the permittivity of the vacuum is epsilon 0 now in place of vacuum if you can insert any dielectric slab nothing but insulator of thickness T which is obviously should be less than D then also there is a chance of increasing the capacitance now let us see whether really the capacitance is increased or not for that again we will take our main equation what is the main equation q is equal to cv now this is a parallel plate capacitor in which the electric field is along a is this plate and b is this plate from a to b the direction of electric field can be easily known by keeping one positive charge here so when one positive charge is kept here it will be repelled therefore it will be towards the negative plate now if you insert a dielectric slab then here the negative charge is induced and here the positive charge because of it the electric field within the dielectric slab is just opposite to the original electric field if you talk about the net electric field within the dielectric E net in the slab E naught it is in this direction minus E due to this polarization E P so this is named as E now outside this dielectric slab the electric field is still E naught we have taken the thickness as T now let us write our equation rather for potential difference so outside this and this space the thickness will be d this is total d this distance is d but out of which electric slab occupies t distance therefore d minus t 
and this within this dialectic field dialectic slab e times t i hope you understood this one <clears throat> to calculate the electric potential electric field times of the distance so outside the dialectic slab d minus t distance is remained and inside it is t therefore i have written e not into d minus t and e times t this is the potential difference between va and vb now we know that every dialectic will have one dialectic constant the dialectic constant is defined as the force between the two charges in the vacuum divided by the force between the same two charges keeping at the same distance in the medium so here it is when force it is the ratio of the force then we can consider it is ratio of the electric fields too so this i can take it as dielectric constant k now i can replace this e as e not by k why did i do that because i cannot calculate what is the electric field existing inside the dielectric slab but once i know the uniform electric field existing between the two plates and the dielectric constant of the slab which i inserted these two quantities are known to me therefore i can easily calculate this e the electric field within the dielectric slab now we will put up the values here in this one let us call it as equation 1 then my potential difference will be e not times d minus t plus e not by k times t if i take e not as common i'll get d minus t plus t by k now if i take d also as common why we have to take because e not into d will give us v not that's the reason why we have taken d as common so 1 minus t by d here there is no d but we have taken d as common so i have to write in the denominator t by d k now e not d into 1 minus t by d is common again here and this becomes 1 minus 1 by k now what is the formula for capacitance the formula for capacitance is c is equal to we know that q is equal to cv therefore it is q by v therefore the this c dash the new capacitance is equal to q by e not d times 1 minus t by d into 1 minus 1 by k but we know that this is nothing but the capacitance of the capacitor without the dielectric slab therefore i can put it as c not 1 minus t by d into 1 minus 1 by k this is by new value of the capacitance now we can easily tell 
that c dash is greater than c naught how this t is less than d therefore it is lesser than 1 k is always greater than 1 therefore this quantity is also less than 1 this quantity is also less than 1 if you multiply the two positive quantities which are existing between 0 and 1 you will get much smaller quantity than these two let me tell you one example suppose 0 0.3 and 0 0.6 if you multiply these two, I will get the value as 0.18 which is less than 0.3 and also less than 0.6. So this value I am subtracting from 1. That means I am getting smaller denominator. So when denominator is getting smaller and smaller, the value of the fraction is increased. Therefore, C dash is always greater than c naught. So now this is the method without increasing the geometrical quantities like area and the di distance between the two plates. We can simply by inserting one dielectric slab we can raise the value of capacitance. In fact this is very useful method to increase the capacitance. That's the reason why a small size of this can also be having larger capacitance. You have seen already the parallel plate capacitors, whereas we have recorded the value as in, in the order of nano farads whereas this small one is having microfarads. So for that we take two foils of aluminum or any metallic foils and then in between we keep either the mica or any polythene or any dielectric can be inserted and by virtue of which the capacitance can be increased. If I completely fill the dielectric slab for this entire gap between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor, that means T is equal to D. In that case, C dash will be equal to C naught by 1. When T is equal to D, this fact becomes 1. So when I open the brackets, I'll get 1 by k, which c dash is equal to kc naught. So this is another definition of the dielectric constant. We have defined dielectric constant as f naught by f or e naught by E. Now C dash by C naught. This is giving us the value of the K. Suppose with any meter you are able to find out the capacitance with dielectric and without dielectric. The ratio of the capacitance with dielectric to the value of the capacitance without dielectric will give us the dielectric constant of that particular quantity inserted fully. T is equal to D we have taken here. Now we will see this. Uh, I have two dielectric slabs with me. One is glass, the other one is acrylic sheet I have taken. I will show it to you how the change will take place in capacitance. Now you look at this number, it is 0 0.13. Now if I place any dielectric slab, so this is the glass, now I am placing this glass between the two plates. Now you can see the reading 
in the LC meter is increased. I can replace this dielectric slab by another plate which is an acrylic sheet. So by inserting the acrylic sheet you can see that there is some increment in capacitance. If I remove it the reading is 0.13 if I keep this the reading is 0.16 but let me tell you C dash is equal to C naught by 1 minus T by D into 1 minus 1 by K remember it is X then this must be d minus t minus x. This slab wherever you keep it is the value remains same c dash that means it is independent of x. So it is not necessary even if you keep very close to positive plate or if you keep very close to negative plate then also the value of capacitance will not be changed so that is another beauty of this one it is independent of the placement of the dielectric slab okay now let's uh, talk about the metal slab we all know that the metals will have net electric field inside in a metal is zero So here while calculating the potential we have to write only E naught into D minus T because within the metal it is the electric field is 0 E inside times this thickness of the slab that is T. So it will be 0. Therefore, again we will do the same process. So, uh, capacitance, the new capacitance C dash is equal to Q by V that is Q by epsilon naught. Again, we will take D as common so that we can write this term as. So, I can write it as 1 minus T by d so this is the capacitance when in place of dielectric slab if you insert a metal slab what happens if t is equal to d this denominator becomes zero and c dash becomes infinity what's the meaning of it so when either you connect with the metal slab like this or you connect with a metal wire like this then also it can get as maximum as charge whatever the charge you give it it always accumulate that on the plates that means the capacitance becomes infinite even this can be uh, done in a different way what is C Q by the difference between the potential Vb minus Va. So when these two are connected by metallic wire this Va will be equal to Vb. Then this is Q by this potential becomes 0 which is tending to be infinity. So this is the special case in place of dielectric slab if you keep the metal slab.